Hey friends, I'm Dr. Malin Chinde. Hope you are doing well. So I welcome you all to another video of our uh, PG preparation series and uh, next exam uh, preparation series. So today I'm going to talk about uh, preparing MCQs and uh, grand test and subject wise test. Because a lot of students still having doubt that how much many hours should be attributed to the MCQs and how MCQs uh, should be solved and what should be the uh, preference. So without wasting any further time, let's start about the discussion. So today what we are going to talk about is approach to MCQs and test about MCQ practice grant test and subject wise test. Also, I have an announcement to make about a free All India mock test that is on 26 Feb 2022 by an academy. So that I will tell you in the uh, new course. So let's talk about MCQ practice. So whenever I talk about MCQ practice, what is most important is previous year questions. So previous year questions are very important because what we used to say that getting a question wrong from what uh, was asked previously is a crime. Because most of the times, if you go and see last five, six years question, you will see a lot of questions, they do repeat. And even if the questions are not uh, repeating, the topics uh, get repeated. So that is why solving PYQs is very important, I think. And I think whenever you start your MCQ practice, you should start with the previous uh, year questions. So as we know that need PG is more of a database question. So I advise for need PG should go for last five to eight years of questions with explanation. Do not just read the question and see the answer. With explanation, if you read, you are going to retain it longer. And as I said, that sometimes even if the question is not repeated, the topic is repeated. So you are ready for the topic. So that is why reading the explanation is also equally important. Also subject like which are first and second year prof subject, like anatomy, biochemistry, they don't change with time. So they're going to ask you the same kind of question. What added thing you can do is now the pattern has evolved like five, uh, like six, five, six years ago, image-based questions were not there. So what you can do, you can take a question, which is like theory-based question or data-based question, and you can search the related image on Google and save it. So that is how you can evolve with the pattern. For i I think last three years would be adequate. And if you have time, five years also uh, is advisable because it happens twice a year. Also, you have to read with explanation. What i has different to offer than PY, uh, than uh, need PG is they are more of a us type questions, more of a clinical-based question. And AIMS has a habit of uh, introducing a topic in one exam. And next exam, they will ask an advanced question. For example, they'll ask about COVID in one exam. In next exam, they'll ask about the COVID vaccine. So that is why for INICT, PVIQs, uh, especially last years, are extremely important. Also, I'll advise you to go through the JIPMER questions as well, AIMS and JIPMER, when INICT was uh, not there. PGI questions are not advisable because you don't get so many uh, multiple choice questions in uh, AIMS, I mean, in INICT exam. Now about grand test. Grand test is, again, a very favorite topic of uh, most of the PGI students. Now, the first question is when to start writing uh, grand test. My advice is you should start writing grant test when your portion is at least 70% done. Because grant test is not about only one subject, but it's about 19 subjects. You should be very ready when you are trying. Otherwise, what will happen? You will do a lot of mistakes because you have not covered the remaining portion. And that will decrease your confidence. And you will lose that uh, faith in yourself. And because I get a lot of questions from students, sir, how can I improve my GT score? See, there is no secret how to improve GT score. You improve your theory, your GT score will improve. Also, the number of GTs should be based on the status of your preparation. See, a lot of toppers, they are foundation by student. So they start preparing since they're MBBS. So when they are uh, doing this period of their uh, preparation after internship, they are already done with their portion. So they give every weekly GTs because they are ready with your portion. But a lot of students who are in the midway of the preparation or just started the preparation, they are also giving a lot of GTs. And actually, it, it can be a very like double-edged sword for you. It can harm you also more than uh, benefit if you give more GTs. What I advise is, if your portion is done, if you have completed your first revision, I mean, first uh, reading, then you can give uh, two to three GTs in a month. That is my uh, advice. Also, what important I want to tell about GTs, it, it should be given with the same intensity as of main exam. A lot of students give GT just for the sake of uh, like knowing a rank or just for fun. They will just attempt a question. If some question is difficult or some question needs thinking, they don't think the same way as they do in exam. But you have to do that way. So that way you train your brain. So you should give your uh gt with the same focus and intensity as you would be giving your uh, main exam that is why I give less number but give in a uh, better way also what i uh, want to say that gts which are conducted on large scale can give you a chance to compare yourself with the competitors so when you write a gt which is attempted attempted by less number of uh, students so you won't get that idea that where do you stand because as i say that pg preparation is not about being the best it's being better than uh, other students so you can give a nationwide gt that are uh, organized so I'll just uh, tell you about one such uh, nationwide mock test that is going to be there on 26th of uh, February 2022. This test is by an academy and it is a free test for uh, everyone. 
it is a all india level uh, gt test and specially created for your uh, may 2022 exam as the pattern is evolving so same kind of questions will be getting what is more uh, interesting about this exam is we'll be getting a video solutions because what is to happen for a student like me reading theory like reading theoretical explanation would be sometimes uh, difficult i mean i uh, i was having some difficulty in understanding them so if there was a teacher who would explain me that this is the like this is how you should tackle a question so that will give me insight that how can i improve my mistakes on so these video solutions you can be uh, benefited uh, and these uh, video solutions are made by the top educators in the country also you'll get the analytics why analytics is important because whenever you attempt to question, attempt any uh, gt you have to analyze subject wise you have to see your accuracy your speed and your subject wise accuracy so that will give you a very valuable insight so that is also provided with this uh, test and uh, what our most favorite uh, area the nationwide level rank will be provided to uh, assess yourself so uh, this test is absolutely free and you can all uh, enroll so i'll just uh, show you quickly in uh, one minute how to how do uh, you have to enroll for the test so you go to the an academy page you can uh, do it on uh, your uh, desktop or uh, the tab you are using and you can uh, click on uh, an academy and uh, then just go uh, or you can use the app as well the app also you can do the same you can download app then you have to search for the tests and you just click on the test so app also you can uh, search for the this test tab so whenever you reach this test tab you have to select the test tab and when you select the test tab, this page will open. So there are a lot of uh, free tests which you can uh, take benefit of. And you have to go here for upcoming test. As I'm telling you about this All in India mock test. So here it is, which is on 26th of Feb, 9 a.m. So you have to click on it and then uh, the page will open. So if you don't have an account, you have to make an account first. So if you are uh, on an academy, if you don't have any account or if you have, don't have the app, you can download it. And here you have to click so i have already enrolled so i'll just unenroll and show you again so you have to just click on this screen screen enroll so here you enroll for the and it with the course will be this uh, test will be added to your planner so this is how you are going to um, enroll for the uh, test so i will request you to encourage your friends also because having a all india rank will uh, help you assessing that where do you stand and if a lot of students will give then that will also give you the uh, idea about your preparation so coming to the next uh, part, which is a subject wise test. So subject wise test, again, it's a very controversial topic and I have kept it uh, last for the discussion because there are, I have divided it into pros and cons. So what are the benefit of subject wise test? It's helps in division, definitely, because whenever you are reading a theory, after that, if you do the MCQs or after a while you do the MCQs, so while uh, solving MCQs, you try to remember your uh, theory. And also when you read the explanation that is added to your uh, memory. So it's a kind of revision only. So it's helps in revision. Also, but it offers better retention, like subject, difficult subject. I used to find ophthalmology a bit difficult. So this subject wise test used to help me in a better retention for this uh, subject, which were very difficult. Also, it improves critical thinking and analytical power. As subject wise tests have a modules, so solving a lot of modules improves your uh, uh, the way you attempt your uh, MCQ. So that is also a benefit. But what are cons? The, uh, the difficulties or the cons of this um, subject wise test is it's too much time taking. I mean, solving so much of modules like subject like medicine, surgery, uh, all the there is no limit of number of MCQs. They are like ocean of MCQs. You cannot finish, and it's too much repetition. Sometimes similar topics, similar kind of questions will be repeated again and again. So it, it kind of wastes your time, and some apps might have some difficulty in applying filter when you want to be selective with the MCQ. So what I'll advise for the subject wise test specifically that go for the selective uh, subject. Like if you find that physiology is difficult for you, solve a lot of MCQs. If you feel medicine may particular rheumatology is difficult for you, solve MCQs. Be very selective in subject wise tests instead of solving from one to thousand because there are uh, thousands and thousands of MCQs and you cannot go for uh, everything. So guys, that's all I wanted to tell you. So that's all I have to say about MCQs and uh, grand tests. So if you have any doubt, let me know in the comment box and don't forget to enroll for this All India uh, free mock test, which is on 26th of Feb, 2022. So I wish you guys all the best and uh, take care.